All right. So I'm trying to figure out what it looks like if we drive traffic to the semaglutide offer and what that looks like for a publisher. So I'm going to try to work on a model here. I'll let you guys watch while I do it. All right. So clicks, guesstimate, click to lead conversion percentage. Let's call it 25%. Okay. Yeah. Let's say it's 2,500 leads payout. We'll leave that <coughs> for a second. And what we're going to pay out cost per lead to publisher. Okay. This is what you guys would be doing when you know what your payout is and how you figure it out, right? So cost per lead per publisher. Then we have 2,500 leads. Land the page. What's the lead to sales conversion percentage? Okay. Let's do a simple 1%. Usually a model 1 to 3%. You could play around with that number. Sales. Oh. Then you take the 2,500, multiply it times here. And get 25 leads right now you have 25 sales cost per sale you want to pay okay um so what's going to happen is now commission for leads commission for sales total commission paid okay and then what i'd want to do is i'd want to take this and say revenue per lead gross revenue per lead well this is what i'm going to tell them right so for pub for publisher of what they're really getting paid and gross revenue per sale for publisher right no you would do that you would take total commissions divided by leads and then you would take total sales right you would take total commission divided by the sales okay so when I play around with this number, right, we were starting off with uh, payout per lead for you guys at a dollar, right? And then payout for sale is $1, $150, okay? So <coughs> you guys need to make money when you do this, right? So... We need to figure out what that's going to look like. Okay. So here you're looking at it. Let's say that freezing numbers, let's say the margins we want, let's call it 50% to start. Okay. Pub payout to start would be one dollar times fifty cents right so we're paying fifty cents payout per lead okay and then so 150 times this 75 bucks okay so here, okay, so commission for leads, 2,500 times 50, 
twelve fifty they would get. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna pay seventy five bucks per sale. Hang on, that's not right. It should be that. <coughs> okay. Commissions for sales would be. Wait, we already have that set up. So we would take the $75, multiply it times the 25, and we would get, sorry, it's already there. So we would take commission for sales would be the 25 sales times the cost per sale. Really, payout per sale to publisher. So you guys get that, right? And you say uh, here, when I say cost, it's the cost to you. Pay out per lead, per lead to publisher. Okay. So you have your sales here. You have your leads here. Okay. Here's your total clicks, right? So whatever your media cost is, you'll know what your cost per click. And it all depends on how you're buying traffic. If you're arbitraging it yourself, then you don't really care about this because you're not paying for any of that, okay? You got somebody where you're willing to pay them on a lead and you want to pay them on a sell. If you're out there buying media yourself, then you're going to care about the clicks, right? You also might care about the impressions, cost per thousand impressions, which is CPM, right? And the total impressions. So whatever amount of impressions, what the cost is, that'll tell you what you're spending, right? But we don't care about that right now. I mean, if you want me to just... Now nah, I'll keep it like this. But then ultimately you'd have a cost here, right? So this would equal a certain amount of money to get the clicks, a certain amount of impressions, right? So then you can do the same thing we did here, right? So how many impressions you see? What's the click-through rate? And that's how many clicks you're going to get, okay? So, but we'll go into that later. We're not doing that right now for media buying. This is just you guys trying to get publishers. So here you have this. Total commission would be... $3,125. So the gross revenue per lead for the publisher is you're really paying them $1.25 or $125 per sale, right? So in that scenario, if you look at it, here's what you're getting. So let's look at you because you care about you, right? So this is for publisher. publisher, right? And now what did that look like for you? Now you, right? So same thing. We do here, except that what we're looking at is we're looking at our total leads times a dollar. We're looking at total sales times 150. So we're making $6,250, right? Remember, that's what we're working on, 50% margin over here, right? If you do that, right, what's 6250 divided by 2, 3125. 3125 payout that you have to pay them, right? So gross revenue per lead, right? You really don't even have to do this. You already know what it is. But if you take this and you divide it by uh, the 2500 by that, you know it's going to be a dollar. If you take this and you divide, where is it? 
the total sales, right? Well, so you would do the sales divided by total sales. So buck 50. So this should just match, right? You already know that. So it matches. The bottom line is your total commission is 6250. Your total payout is here. So net profit, your net profit, right? Would be sixty-two fifty minus thirty-one twenty-five. Boom. That's how you make money. So <clears throat> now this is how you do it where you get it set up, right? So what you're trying to do is you're trying to look at what they're gonna be making, right? So here when you're talking to them, right? Let me put a little wrap here. When you're talking to the publishers, you're trying to understand what their media is worth. So a dollar twenty-five. Now, <clears throat> you still want to look at it, right? Like, so all right, they got ten thousand clicks, right? So what are they making per click? We're gonna to want to know what that is. So let's open that up, insert this, and what is the revenue per click? for pub publisher, right? And how do you figure that out? You take the total amount of commission divided by the total clicks, and they're making 31 cents. So now you have an idea of what this looks like. So when you're talking to them, this is, this is, these are numbers that you want to talk through when you're trying to convince somebody to run. Hey, listen, here's what's going on, right? In, if you get about 10,000 clicks, we see in about a 25% conversion rate from the click to lead, which means that you'll get about 2,500 leads if you get 10,000 clicks. And if we're paying you 50 cents, you're going to get about 1250. But I'm also going to pay you on the sales, right? So if we model this out at 1%, 99% of the people do not buy, 1%, right? Well, then we get 25 sales and paying you $75 in addition to that. So this is a hybrid then I'm going to owe you another 1875. So the total commission that you're going to get is 3125. So I'm limiting your risk by paying you out on the lead, whether they buy or not, right? So if I pay for all the leads and no one buys, you know, I can get run over here, right? And they don't need to know how you're getting paid out. They could think you're arbitraging it, right? Right. We're getting paid out on the lead also. So you don't have any risk, but there are times where I do this when I'm not getting paid on the lead. I'm only getting paid on the sale. I'll still pay out on that lead and I'll arbitrage it. You know, there's a scenario. If you guys wanted to, <coughs> you could pay them nothing for the sale. And then you can come here and pay out per lead, you know, the full dollar. You could pay them $2 if you wanted. Um, once you see how it's performing, because you're still getting paid on the back end of the 150. So, I could show you guys that another time, um, but right now you're taking zero risk. So, you know, if they get leads, you make money. If they get a sale, you make money, right? The person taking risk right now is the advertiser. So they're going to pay us out on those leads regardless if there's any sales. So we have to make sure that that converts for them and it works for them, right? So the numbers they're paying us may change. <coughs> it will change depending on the, the source and who's driving traffic. And each source is going to have a different quality of traffic, different amount of leads, different amount of sales. So that's going to change. And we're going to be tracking that on our side. And then we're going to be reporting to you guys when we're talking to the advertiser on your sources. Hey, traffic looks good. Keep doing it. Scale it. Um, you know, we could pay you more. So, you know, let's go out and give the publisher more money, right? You know, keep this in mind, right? You're working with 50% margin here. Right. So let's say you turn that into 30% margin, right? Well, <coughs> at that point, that's actually not right. So this should be, uh, should be 70 cents, right? Um, actually not right so if we wanted to pub payout of 30 percent margin 
one minus that times that. Why is that shown? Is it plus? No, that doesn't make sense. How do you do that formula? Let's see. Do you do that times that minus one? No. We want to pay out 70%. Right? So we'd want to subtract one minus whatever 30% of 150 is. Why is it doing that? Hmm. One minus $150 times 30%. Does it have to be 70%? All right, now, all right, let's do the simple math. What's 30% of 150? It's $45, right? And then you subtract that from 150. So you'd pay them 105. <coughs> it's very strange. Well, until we figure it out, guess what? Whoop! <laughs> so now if you do that, there you go. <laughs> I cheat. I'm cheating right now, but it is what it is. But you can play with this number, and then everything should change on that side, right? So then, um, profit-wise, here, right? You can figure out. No, watch this. You're going to like this. Hmm. No. Did I have it here? Oh man, Excel is so much better than this. I'm doing it on a Google Sheet so I could share this with you guys. Hmm, I don't know. I could turn this green and red. I gotta figure out how you do it. I'll have to figure it out. And if I do it, I'll I'll set it up. <coughs> so it'll change. But so in any event, this is what's showing you where you're at. Right. And then you can figure out where your partners need to be. So when you're talking to your partners here, right, these are the numbers that you can talk through of what they can expect. <coughs> right. Uh, so this would be their revenue per lead that they would make. This would be their revenue per sale to expect. So they can then model out on their side revenue per click. So if you're talking to a publisher and they know they can send 10,000 clicks and you're like, yeah, I can get you, you can expect about 47 cents per, right? So 46, seven, it's a little less than that. You want me to push that out a tiny bit, right? Uh, <clears throat> so about 47 cents, that's fine. So they'd be like, all right, they know their they know their traffic. They should know their traffic. Unless you're talking to like an influencer or something like that or a Facebook group. But if you're talking to like someone that is an emailer who does this a lot, they'll know what to expect. So if they're like sending out all kinds of offers and they're doing 25 cents a click and you know that, then you can work these numbers in to be like, all right, man, I'm, you know, you, <laughs> I don't want you to do this, but I could potentially do this where I would pay out on a click. If someone wants 25 cents a click and I know that, 
I'm working on I could get 55 cents right so I could work at 55 percent margins and I'll pay them 28 cents you know or maybe 53 52 right I could work at 52 percent margins pay this dude out on 30 cents a click and not pay him anything on a call on a lead or sell boom right if he said so so you know, when you're talking to the publishers, you're getting an idea of what they think the value of their traffic is. Um, you could also figure out what they're making per impression if they tell you how many impressions they're getting, right? So if they're like, we're going to mail to 1 million people, right? So, okay, great. Well, if it's mailing to 1 million people, they just made $3,000 commission, right? So the way that you figure out what the revenue per thousand is, here, I'll just put it over here, right? So what the CPM is what they call it, cost per thousand, if they're making money, revenue per thousand would be you take the total revenue divided by 1,000 divided by 1,000. Boom, $3 CPM. So... If they wanted to sell their traffic to you on a CPM and they're telling you that, hey, I have a million emails, I want to I wanna get paid on a CPM basis and I want you to pay $3 CPM, which is pretty normal actually, like, you know, anywhere from like $1.50 to 3 bucks on like the big like lead gen companies, that's about right. <coughs> well, you know. Depending on what you're willing to, to, to risk, I could pay $3,000 to mail to a million people, to some of these mailers. And if it backs out, then look at what happens, right? We're going to end up getting paid $62.50 and $3,250. And that's all based on these two numbers, which are our projections, right? Based on these numbers is going to determine all of what this means here. So this is how you would use this to figure out what you want to pay. But this is your payout, right? And then as we get going, we see how the quality of the traffic is on the back end. All these numbers can change, right? But that's a, a pretty good way of being able to use this. So I'm going to put this inside the member portal uh, and post it into the Facebook group so that you guys can use this as a tool for yourselves for when you want to go out and buy traffic for this. This is a good thing that you can use talking to publishers. And what you really want to get a good understanding of is what their traffic is worth, right? So you want to understand what it looks like here, okay? So when we spoke to the advertiser, the advertiser says, right, the advertiser told us, that it was 20% conversion here and 10% conversion here. I think 20% is too low and I think 10% is too high. And he's telling us that, but he's also getting traffic from like these just these influencers that have a following. When we go out and get publishers run traffic, it's cold traffic. It's gonna be very different, right? So um, that's my guess. If you wanted to stay at the 20%, you could do that. There you go, bam, right? And you're just kind of figuring out what you can pay out to these people, right? 70 cents. And that, you know, if, you, it's a hybrid, you know, hybrid payout. Or you can just pay heavy on the front end or on the back end. However you negotiate that deal. A lot of options here. But so I hope this is helpful. Um, this is what I do whenever I am trying to figure out what I am going to be offering to the market. And usually what I do is I'll start low, right? And give an idea of what it looks like so that I have room to move higher. Um, but at the same time, I need to make it make sense. So I need to understand what these numbers look like here to know if they're excited about this or not. Right. So like if you know the market, once I know what publishers are looking to make, the, the more you're in this business, the more you understand this business, the more you'll know like what they're looking to make per click. Right. Or per impression, which is not here right now because, and I'll put it in here. What are they making? Revenue per impression, right? 
So for a publisher, and you want to know that because you want to know what they want to charge for publisher RPM. It's the revenue per thousand. I also used RPI, which is the revenue per impression. And it's the same thing. It's just taking the CPM and then taking this and dividing it by 1,000, right? This divided by 1,000. So I typically look at it like that, <coughs> right? So when I'm running traffic for some of my deals, we'll look at it, and this is the revenue per impression, RPI. Cost per thousand, revenue per impression. And we do it where like we'll pay out an impression like 10 cents, but we might make 25, 30 cents, you know? But the more risk you take, right? If you had a risk factor on the media buy, this is the highest, second highest, third highest, fourth highest. H I G H E S T, right? If we had to look at a risk factor on how you were buying media, media buying risk, right? So if I had to do that, my color would be like this. All right, so media buying risk for you, right? Then on this side, when you look at it from a publisher, publisher media buying risk, okay? It's the opposite, right? So it would be that to that to, what is it, that, to that, right? It's the opposite. So if you were buying media on a cost per sale, that means that the publisher doesn't get paid until they get an impression, a click, a lead, and then a sale. So that's the highest risk. They don't get paid until they get a sale. Here, right, for media buying risk for you is now you go out and buy traffic and you're paying on a CPM means you're paying for an impression, but you don't know how many clicks you're going to get. You don't know how many leads you're going to get. You don't know how many sales you're going to get, right? You can project based on data that you have. And the more you run traffic, the more data you get. However, that's really like the game we're playing here. Who's taking the risk? To me, the higher risk I take, the more margin I should make, right? Um, or if it's not margin, then it's scale and volume, right? If you, you, you know, the beautiful thing about buying on a CPM is that you can control how much traffic you get, right? So like if I'm buying impressions of 1 million, if they have 100 million names in their, in their database, I can get 100 million emails sent out. They're happy to do it on a CPM, right? And then I have all the risk. I still need clicks, lead sales for it to work. So then I've done that before, right? <clears throat> but I have to know my numbers to do that. And this is very early on. So we'll figure it out. We're going to start getting traffic and figuring out the numbers. And I'll fill you guys in on what that looks like as we get going. But this is what you should use. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, ask it in the Facebook group. The Danish are there to answer. They can compile and help you through this. But this is a good worksheet. So what I would say is when you get it, copy it, make a copy for yourself. Don't just start manipulating it here because then it'll mess it up for everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, this is uh advertiser told us conversion rate percentages. Right. And this was for, right. This was the, Click to lead. This was the lead. So, um, right. Just try to organize that to you as we're like muffing around a little bit. But organize that for you. Move this over. Let's 
Okay. Um, and what are these? This would be what? What publisher would make on impressions? Right, CPM. So cost per, they would sell it cost per thousand. So this is in thousands. There, are 1,000 impressions. Why? Because that's how the whole online media world talks and CPMs, right? You'll hear things like ROAS, return on ad spend, right? And this is 1,000 impressions. This is one impression. Same thing. It's the same math. You're just looking at a one person or a 1,000 people. <coughs> so, all right, guys. That is it. Hope this was helpful. I am going to try to go make money now. Later.